Hi everyone, today we'll be looking at the Seymour EA9 HMI series panel first program. And detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been provided, put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video one. There will be links to the rest of the videos in this series as well. So up on my screen here, uh, previously we, we established communication to our HMI, our Seymour, and we uh, then updated, updated the firmware in that Seymour. Um, so now we're looking at the actual program uh, software screen and the first thing I like to do is actually view the screen as the entire screen itself. So if we go up to view and we can go zoom and then we can go zoom to fit and we'll hit OK. So now this is the actual physical size of my screen that I'm, I'm looking at. And the other option here you can see down here in my corner I have 70%. You can also take this slider and then move it to where you want as well. Zoom in, zoom out. So, very nice feature. So we'll just uh, turn that back to uh, the zoom, zoom to fit. Okay. And so, last time, again, as we mentioned, we looked at the communication. And we actually, if we look under the function of our navigation, and look at the panel manager. What you'll notice is that we did, uh, we do have the panel type EA9 uh, T10CL. And if we look at the Ethernet port, we have a driver here, DV001, and it has the PLC IP address of 192.168.1.15. And Modbus TCP also uses port 502. And you can see here that our protocol is Modbus. Uh, Modicon Modbus TCP IP Ethernet. So that's my uh, communication functions. So I said okay. And now what we'll do is put a, a few uh, items on here and what we'll do is go back to our previous uh, program that we did a start stop in our do more designer and we've added a couple of Modbus addresses MC1 for my start and we have MC2 for my stop and my jog, um, we have MC3. And then my output, MC1 is my output indicating that the output is actually on. We can go call the simulator here and you can see that X1 my starts my output, then X, uh, X1 stops it, and then X2, as long as X2 is on, it will jog it. So that's my simple program that we're going to now uh, put into our Seymour HMI. So back to here, the first thing we'll do is we'll put add a push button. And you'll notice as soon as I hit the push button under my object list, my parts list show up. And we'll scroll down here. And these are pre-made uh, push buttons for us that we can use in our program. And I'll use this sample 11. We'll drag that onto the screen and it automatically comes up with my display parameters here. And the first thing we'll do is we'll call this start. And you can see right now, that's what it looks like when it's on. I can then simulate it, turn it off. That's what it's gonna look like when it's off. Then we go down and we can look at our tag name. And our tag name, if we click on the four arrows here, brings up our tag database. Now our tag database will actually allow us to set all the internal or the communication tags that are going to be updated every time we communicate to the PLC. In our case here, our, our simulation. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a tag and that tag will be device DEV001 as we looked at before. We're going to call this tag MC1 and our memory address will be 0 and it's going to be 1. So we'll just hit add. Now it automatically will uh, go to the next one. We'll just hit close now. So there's our first uh, memory that we'll use for our start. So we're going to fill, use the fill down and we're going to add two more. Then we can go back here and we can correct the name here. This will be MC2. And 
close that and this will be MC3. So there's my three tags. Now we'll go back to MC1 and we'll just hit OK. That comes down here. And our object type will want a momentary on, just as our uh, PLC logic is. So let's hit OK. And now we can position this the way we want to on the screen and create the size that we would like. So that looks pretty good. So next we're going to put a another push button, which will be the stop. And again, what we'll do is we will just change that to say stop. Again, on off, that's my off. There's my on. And our tag now, because we've already programmed in our tag database, we'll see MC2. Again, momentary on, and we'll hit OK. Now we can position this. First of all, we'll make it the same size as our start. We'll position this over here. There we go. And next we'll do our jog. And we use blue for that. And again, we will look at MC3. And we'll just call that jog. And again, what looks like off and on. And momentary, we'll hit OK. And we again reposition it. Again, making it the same size. So there's our three switches. The next part what we're going to do is look at the, uh, the output indication. So what we'll do is put an indicator light. That's that. And what we'll do is look at their parts under the indicator light. And we will choose, uh, we'll say this one here. So we'll put that up there. And that's what it looks like on. That's what it looks like off. So it looks pretty good. And again, we'll go back to our tag database. And you see that it gets very messy when we start looking at all the tags at once. So let's turn off our system tags and our internal tags and just leave our, our actual Ethernet port tags that we're utilizing. And what we're going to do is add another tag. In this case here, I'm going to say MI1. And our address type will be 1, address number 1. And we'll add that. So once we have that, we'll hit OK. And then for our indication, let's turn the off and on off. So we won't have any titles or any text for this. And we'll hit OK. Now we can reposition our indication light. And that looks pretty good. So now we'll just save that project. And next what we can do is we can transfer this over to our um, HMI. So once again we are connected and so we'll hit the send for sending our project. And currently right now it's set for USB. We can throw on the Ethernet, it'll look for it and we're good to go. Then we can hit transfer. So now we're transferring our information over to our HMI display screen now. There we go. So we hit OK. So our transfer is now complete and we can close this down. So now we can uh, look at our PLC software. And you can see now, if I look at my display screen and hit my start, my output turns on. Hit my stop, it turns off. And when I hit my hit hold my jog, I can see that the light turns on and then goes off when I hit release it. So that seems to be working fine. I can also see that in my simulator. Right now there's my output. So if I hit the on, start, turns on, stop, turns off and my jog. 
so everything looks like it's running just fine. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about this video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want to get our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the little bell beside your subscription in order to actually receive those, uh, those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.